I think I'm coughing up chunks of my lung. Anyone else would cancel, but I showed up because I have a lunch date with my mother, and I care about her feelings. My mother, she cares about the free lunch. I'm starving. I don't think I could do this. Why not? Why not look at me? I'm dying. But I rushed to get over here. Rushed? You're 40 minutes late. This is exactly what Schneiderman, my therapist, was talking about. He said your constant complaining is killing my ability to be happy. You, Spencer, are killing my happy. I'm just not feeling well. I'm trying to let you know. And did it ever occur to you how that would make me feel? No. Which is why Schneiderman suggested this. An egg timer? It's a happy protector. It limits the amount of time I have to listen to your whining. I'm not whining. I'm just trying to tell you how I feel so maybe I could get a little sympathy. Is that too much to ask? No. Of course not, darling. You have one minute. Go. We 55 seconds. I... But... 50 seconds, I'm just saying. <coughs> Wasting time on the coughing. My name is Spenny. I've been accused of being an emotionally stunted man-child, incapable of having a functional relationship. All I really want is to find love. Is that such a crime? What are you doing? Hey, Spenny! I was just thinking about you. I'm too sick to figure out what that means. I've got a genital rash. It's fungal. I think I may be allergic to latex. Why are you telling me this? I think I may have given it to your mother when we were dating. And since we don't... Oh, just a second. And since we don't really speak anymore, would you... Uh, would you mind mentioning to her that she might want to get her, uh, her muffin checked? You want me to talk to my mother about her muffin? Is that awkward? Phil... Get out of my way before I vomit all over you. Well, maybe I'll uh, text her. You poor thing, you're white as a ghost. Are you an angel? Come with me. To heaven? Sit over here. I'm Ellie. Oh, you're burning up. Do you have someone who can take care of you? A girlfriend? A wife? How about a mother? She's just the lady that I go to lunch with sometimes. I live just around the corner. I'll bring the car to the front. Meet me outside, dear. You're gonna take me to your house? do is get you into bed remember i'm sick so go easy on me now let's get those clothes off mister hello chelsea i'm about to have sex with a woman the same age as my mother is that wrong Reminds me of my Morty. Morty? Who's Morty? My husband. He's dead. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. So, how should we do this? We have choices? I only asked because Morty liked it the old-fashioned way. Well, if it's good enough for old Morty. Get on your tummy, dear. That's interesting. So what is it about this position Morty likes so much? The surprise. Oh, my. After she took the thermometer out of my bum, it got a little weird. That's when it got weird? She made me a delicious homemade soup, gave me a hot bath, and then tucked me in for the night and gave me this. 
What is that? I think she called it a blankie. Oh my God. What? She mothered you. Mothered me? What's that? Mothered. Didn't Sheila ever tickle you when you were scared or kiss you when you had a boo-boo? What's a boo-boo? Last night when you were with Ellie, you were with the mother you never had. My blankie. I always suspected that I was undermothered. But was it possible that I was no mothered? Lunch two days in a row? I'm not complaining, Spencer, but if you want to see me more often, I'll have to discuss it with Dr. Schneiderman. He already thinks you're too needy. I'm not going to keep you long. I just have a couple of questions. Okay. Do you know what a boo-boo is? Can you use it in a sentence? No. Oh. I can't. Hmm. When I was young, a little boy, did you ever dote on me? Oh, Spencer, what does it matter? I don't even remember who I did last night. You know, speaking of last night, I had a very unusual experience. I felt feelings that I've never felt before. It was, it was odd. It was almost as if someone actually cared about me. Hold it. Start again from the feelings thing. You have one minute. Go. I uh, was in the neighborhood, and I just wanted to thank you for last night and return this. Oh. I snuggled with it uh, all last night, so you might want to scrapbook it or something. Well, guess I should be going. It's brisket. And then I should probably let you get back to it. There's nothing worse than a dry brisket. Oh, my brisket is never dry. Moist and juicy. So much better that way. So much better? So you can't stay for dinner? I can stay forever. my mother I can't keep seeing Ellie behind Sheila's back the guilt it's eating me alive inside so stop it's not that easy I'm experiencing new smells butterfly kisses last night we ate s'mores and watched the Wizard of Oz by the way that's a fantastic movie have you ever heard of it everybody's heard of it everybody's heard of it damn you Sheila Spenny don't torture yourself. Everybody deserves a mother. Go, enjoy your freaky relationship. Wait a minute. What's gonna happen when Sheila finds out? It's gonna destroy her. Knowing Sheila, I wouldn't get too worked up over it. You know what, you're confusing me. I gotta do the right thing. I'm gonna come clean. I'm gonna tell her everything. Even better, I'm gonna introduce her to Ellie. Spenny, you don't have to do this. I'm not going behind my mother's back anymore. For the first time in my life, I know what it means to be mothered, and it's about time she figured it out. I'm proud of you. Now sit up straight. You're right. Good posture is important. Spencer, what's the matter with your back? You look stiff. Sheila, I'd like you to meet Ellie. Enchanté. Oh. Enchanté. Now, Mother, what I'm about to tell you is the most difficult thing I've ever had to tell anyone. Mother! What I'm about to tell you is the most difficult thing I've ever had to tell anyone in my entire life, and I'm drawing on all of my faith just to get through it. You can at least pay attention. Do you think the sea bass is wild or farmed? If it's farmed, they swim in their own feces. What are you gonna have? Not the sea bass. So, Spenny, you were saying? Ellie and I, we have a relationship, and it's moving forward at a very fast pace, and we thought it was only fair for us to tell you. Are you taking piano lessons? She's not my piano teacher. Ellie and I are seeing each other as mother and son. Ellie cherishes me. She fusses over me. She makes me wash my hands after I go duty. She's everything that you're not. There, I said it. Is this true? Have you been mothering Spencer behind my back? Only because he's not getting it at home. I see. 
Well, uh, clearly there's one too many mothers here. Oh, and when Spencer was breastfeeding, he used his teeth. The marks around my nipples have never healed. I hope he goes easier on you. That actually went easier than I thought it would. Maybe, uh, Schneiderman's not such a nutcase after all. Ow! What was that? An egg timer? Oh, no. Our mother! Is this normal human mother behavior? I actually don't know. All those years with Sheila. Wasted. Gone forever. When I started crawling, I should have crawled out the front door and never looked back. I'll make up for the lost times. I promise. How about tomorrow we go to the zoo? You know, I've never been to the zoo. Oh, bad news. It's getting worse. Oh, it feels like I'm on fire. Can I borrow that ice bag? Thanks. Thanks. Oh, oh, oh. You can keep that. Thanks. How does Sheila take the news about her muffin? Oh, it's awkward, I understand. Oh, is that chicken in a pot? You like it? Like it? Oh, whatever you did to that chicken is making my nostrils flare. Uh, Spenny, aren't you going to introduce me to your nice friend? Ellie, this is Phil. Oh. Truly charmed. Oh, perhaps Phil would like to join us for dinner. Actually, that's not going to be happening because uh, I have plans. Plans? You didn't mention you had plans. Where are you going? Out. Who with? Jasmine. I have a date with Jasmine. Oh, you never mentioned her before. I have to mention things. Uh, this is what I do. Well, I worry. Since when is worrying a crime? Yes, Benny, since when is worrying a crime? Shut up, Phil. Benny, go on your date with your special Jasmine. I'll have to live with the satisfaction of knowing, even though you never mention it. You appreciate all the hours I spend cooking and cleaning and washing, not to mention the sewing and the baking and the washing the car. All right, let's eat. No, please, don't stay on my account. I, I'm included in this, right? Well, leaves are going back. Hello? Hello? Jessica? Yeah, speaking. Hi, it's Sheila. Spencer's actual mom, not the harlot he's currently seeing. Uh, tell me, dear, where is that place where people go and look things up on the computer? Usually it's porn. Do you mean the internet? How does it work? Well, you type in whatever fetish you're into and something will come up. I think for the first time in my life, I'm being over-mothered. Maybe you should run away from home. I'm telling you, Chelsea, she's a great mother. But last night, Ellie gave me a 20-minute timeout. You know why? Because I rolled my eyes. You wanted a mother, and now you've got one. You're going to live under her roof? You're going to live under her rules. What am I saying? Now I'm buying into this multiple mom disorder? Coming, Ellie. Oh, it's you. OK, I don't blame you for being disappointed in me, but things are going to be better now, my little Spencil. Do you actually think that you can come in here dressed like a Cupid doll and erase a lifetime of narcissistic parental neglect? I'm being a mother. Eat something. You are so thin. You sound like an insincere robot. I think you should leave. I'm a fighter. I fought for your father, and I'm going to fight for you. You gave him two nervous breakdowns and bankrupted him. The man was weak, but I'm not going anywhere. Strap yourself in. Mummy's in the house. I'm proud of you, Spencer. Are you really? Get out. I can't believe Sheila's actually fighting for me. And Ellie isn't going anywhere. I think I might have two mothers. Oh, you birds are flying around you. You are the one that I love. And our flowers are growing about you. You are the one that I love. Oh, I want you. Look at you. Oh, my goodness. Look at that.
that kick? Does it take you back? And I'm so glad I found you. Without an arm around you. And I'm so glad I found you. Benny, I mean this in the nicest possible way, but you're turning into a fat pig. I know. What am I gonna do? Sheila feeds me eight times a day, and Ellie doesn't like me to eat on an empty stomach. Look at me. I can't even fit into my stretchy pants. If I want to look at my penis, I've got to lie down in front of a mirror. You know what's happening to me? I'm being overmothered. Well, what are you gonna do about it? One of them has to go. Spencer. Hey, Ellie, Sheila, thank you for coming. You've both been model mothers, but unfortunately, I only need one mother, so it's going to come down to this test. The first section is a multiple choice, general spenny questions, anxieties, birthmarks, dates, and so on and so forth. The second part is an essay question entitled, Why I Would Make the Best Mother for Spenny. Any questions? No. Okay, very well then. Good luck to both of you. May the best mother win. You have... One hour. Big dinner to celebrate. What if Sheila scores higher? I'll see you at seven. I'm done. Bob, you didn't answer any of the questions. Ah. Oh. Forget it, Spencer. It's too hard. Do you want some more time? Some hints? Nobody has to know. Spencer, you belong with her. I know it, you know it, and God knows she knows it. I think it's time to say goodbye now. Bye. Mom. Don't I get a goodbye hug? Up, 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 up to the hair. Sweetie, the hair. Bye, Mommy. Oh, Spinny! You're early. I told you to come at 7. Come back in an hour, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll tidy up and uh, dinner will be ready, okay, sweetie? Mm, smells delicious. What are we having? Brisket? Bill? Hey, Spinny. Guess what? Rash free. Turns out little Phil here was allergic to fabric softener. <laughs> so no need to mention this to Sheila after all. Why is Phil here eating my brisket and wearing your robe? Phil's such a charming boy. He doesn't have to be told twice, and he's a good eater. Are you... mothering Phil? It's not just the mothering spin. I'm in for the full package. Are you telling me that you've had sex with both of my mothers? Yeah. What are the odds? How could Ellie do this to me? I don't want Phil's gravy-stained hands all over my new mother. I can't believe this is happening. And I can't believe how short Phil's bathrobe is. You're right. The rash did clear up. And a filthy martini. 
This is unbelievable. You don't even know how old I am. I ballparked it. Listen, Spencer, mothering is more than just knowing your son's age. It's more about... Uh, I'm sorry, drawing a blank. You know what? It doesn't matter. We're stuck together. Spencer, I may be a lousy mother, but I'm your mother. And I'll do my best to be there for you. You know, that's all I ever wanted. See, I can learn. What can I do to become a better mummy? <sighs> a lot of things, really, like... When I call you on the phone, it would be nice if you asked me how I was once in a while. That would be good. Make it fast. 